Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Chelsea and today I'm going to show you my 15 minute makeup face. So what you see here is the look that I came up with and the most important thing that I want you to take away from this video are ideas as to how you can do your makeup quickly in a short time frame and how you can still look refreshed, awake, and ready to take on the day. So in this routine, you'll see me use an array of products. Don't feel like you have to use all of them because every product may not be for you. So for instance, I think about my sister, she's not really a blush girl. So if she were to do this look, she'd probably eliminate the blush. She'd also eliminate the eyeshadow, but I could see her using some of these other products to get a face that would make her feel like she's refreshed and awake. But I did this look just to give you an idea as to what I use and how I do my makeup when I need to be quick and out the door, but I still wanna look put together. But before we get into this video, thank you so much for clicking on my video and taking time out of your day to spend some time with me. If this is your first time here, I'd love for you to stick around and subscribe to my channel. Join my little family over here. I'd love to have you. And if you are a returning subscriber, you're the bomb. And you know, I appreciate you. So thankful to have you here. So thankful that you are still here rocking with me, liking my videos, commenting, and just continuing to support my channel. It really does mean a lot to me. So let's get into this video. All right guys, so I've got my timer here and I'm going to press start. So the countdown is on. First, I'm going in with my Touch and Soul No Pore Villain Primer to conceal my pores. And I would say for this step, go in with the product that is going to conceal your problem areas the most. Then I'm going to go in with my True Intentions Bronzing Primer along with the True Intentions Hydrating Foundation. Both of these are from the brand Range Beauty and in the foundation I wear the shade Rio. But first, I forgot, I wanna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. So because I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on my makeup, I like to do steps that kind of will work for me. So you all know that I love highlight. So I'm gonna go in with a liquid illuminator first that will get sort of the highlight process started for me. Because in a lot of cases, sometimes when I am rushing to do my makeup, if I don't have time to put a highlight on afterwards, I already have some type of glow. Now I'm gonna go in with Range Beauty and I'm just going to apply that to my face like so. And then I'm gonna go in with the foundation. So the first thing that I went in with was the um, bronzing primer. And then I'm just gonna take my hands because our hands are our tools as well. And just blend that in. And so because this is going to be a quick look for me, I'm not going in with a product that's gonna give me a ton of coverage because I don't have a lot of time to be spending blending it out and things like that. So I go with something that will blend into the skin really quickly and you know, I can use my hands to blend it out pretty fast. Now I'm gonna go in with concealer. So I'm choosing the NYX Born to Glow Radiant Concealer. I have mine in the shade 10.3 Buff. And I'm just gonna add a little bit here and then taking my brush and blending it out. And also taking it over my eyelids and using this as my primer. So one less step that I have to do. Then going in with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder. I wear mine in the shade Medium 2. And I'm gonna use this to set my under eye concealer and my T-zone. And then going in with my Flower Beauty brush, which is a bigger brush, taking the same powder and just using that to set the rest of my face. I'm going in with my Natasha Denona Tan Prawn tan bronze and glow palette and I love palettes that kind of give me all in one because once again that's a less one less step so I'm going to use this to bronze and highlight with and 
and then just take a little bit not doing any type of nose contour but just warming up the sides of my nose so I have something there for blush I'm going to take the Too Faced what is this sugar peach wet and face wet and dry face and eye palette going in with the peach shade right here and just using that as my blush for today because I have to have blush I can't I know some people will skip blush and if you're not a blush person go ahead and skip it but I gotta have blush now let's move on to my highlight so going back in with the same tan bronze and gold palette I'm gonna go in with this shade right here as my highlight On to brows. So all I'm trying to do is just fill in the sparse areas. I'm not trying to get me a like perfected, completely arched brow. I just want to fill in the sparse places and allow them to frame my face properly. So I'm taking my CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil and outlining my brow. And I concentrate most of the pigment on the tail of my brow. And then I'll just lightly run it through this front part here. And that's pretty much it for my brows. So in, in comparison, my brows, you know, may not look the most full or the most dramatic, but they definitely look a little more completed than what we begin with. And same with here, outlining them, really quick giving them some shape filling in the sparse areas and then we are done with brows if you already have full brows I would even recommend just using a pigmented brow gel like the benefit boy brow essence has one um, I think it's called essence brow gel or something like that um, and that is a good thing too. All right, we are at nine minutes and 36 seconds. Next, I want to throw a little bit of eyeshadow on. So I'm going in with the Amrezi Anastasia palette. And I'm gonna go in with the shade called New Yorker here. So for my eyes, eyeshadow, this, this step is definitely optional. Um, if you didn't want to put eyeshadow on, literally this is a 10 minute uh, face, throw on a lip product and you're done. Um, you know, add a little setting spray and you're done. So, but I like to always kind of frame my eyes a little bit with just some type of eyeshadow. You could also use your bronzer to do this. And this will just give your eyes just a little bit of depth. And you literally could be done with it here if you wanted to. It just, it gave, your eye has some type of definition to it. I feel like no matter what, you want to still allow for your makeup to give your face some type of dimension. Even if you're going for the quickest look. Because that's what makes you look a little bit more done up. Versus just making your whole face look the same. Alright, then I'm going to go in with Gorgina right here. And I'm going to put that all over the lid. Then we're going to go in with one more shade called Yugo right here. And just use that to add just a little bit of depth to the outer edge. And then, just going to take the same dark shade called Yugo, run that along lower lash line, not bringing it all the way to the inner corner because this is a daytime look. So I want my eye look to look less dramatic. And then going back in with that lighter shade called New Yorker. 
and using that to blend out the edge of my lower lash line. And we are done with the lower lash line. Because I like to have an inner corner highlight, I'm going back in with the same Natasha Denona palette, going in with this lighter highlight shade, and I'm just gonna use that for the inner corner. Then to finish off my eyes, because I like an eyeliner, I feel like it completes the look. I'm gonna go in with my Milani. They put waterproof eyeliner in the shade Hooked on Espresso. My lash primer by Essence, this is the Volume Booster Lash Primer. And I'm just gonna coat my lashes just a little bit um, because once again, I don't have a lot of time. So I'm not gonna spend the extra time that I normally do coating them because I just sometimes a little extra. And then I'll go in with the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara. So you wanna choose a mascara that you really like, you don't have to kind of fuss with, that you know you know works for you. So you can get through this step as fast as you can. And then lastly, my setting spray is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. Okay, and then we are done. So when my timer went off, I've changed my shirt took my hair down, put some earrings on. Well, my time, when I stopped my timer after I um, did my setting spray, it was 17 minutes and 57 seconds. So this technically, I'm gonna say it's a 15 minute look because if I wasn't talking, I could have gone faster. I feel like if you, especially if like you narrow down your products that really work well for you, and depending on what you like, you may not have to do all of these steps. So for me, I like to have, like like I said, I like to have blush and highlight. I like to have my eyeshadow. But if you're the type of person that's like, you know what, I take my bronzer, run it through my crease and I'm done, then of course that's time that you would have saved. So I feel like in essence, this is still a 15 minute face because it really can be achieved in 15 minutes. For the lips, I don't really count lips in the process because you can throw your lip on in the car. So I don't feel like that's a step that you really need to do at home. Um, so for my lips, I took the Jeffree Star um, lip liner and dominatrix here to outline my lips and then I chose the lipstick that I basically keep in my car it's one of my favorites it's the morphe mega matte lip in single AF so this is the shade and like I said this stays in my purse so normally when I'm rushing I will just use a lip that's already in my purse because I'm rushing so more times than not I'm not gonna sit here and like um, look through my lipsticks and with this one I typically would just throw on a brown liner real quick before I leave the house and then I can put that on and this is my look y'all like I said I feel like this is a look that even if you don't do every step you can get an idea as t as to what can I use to do a face look more presentable but not take much take out too much time in my morning and so for me I feel like I look presentable I do have a little bit of mascara here I'm just gonna take that off. Um, but I feel like I look presentable. I feel like my face looks a little bit more fresh. I don't feel like I look as tired as I feel, you know? Quick steps to get a 15 minute face to where you're refreshed, you're ready to go, tackle the day, be a boss. And that's all what we're trying to do, right? That's all we're trying to do. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave me in the comments below some of your makeup that you like to gravitate to when you're trying to do a quick face because I'd love to know because, you know, maybe I'll go pick it up myself. Um, but that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye, guys.